Hey everyone, it's Ann Ledgerwood here again with some more ideas of things to do with your kids um, that are not expensive at all. I'm a pediatric physical therapist and I've been working for 43 years and I've seen a lot of stuff and I know there are a lot of wonderful toys on the market. There are also lots of things that can be repurposed or that you can find at the thrift store and really do great things for your kids. So I went to the thrift store the other day and spent about $30. And I want to show you what all I got. So one of my best finds was this really cool step stool, which would be typically used for um, stepping up to the sink for a, for a child to be able to wash their hands or brush their teeth. But you can see it also could make a really nice little seat. So a child could sit right here with their feet in the floor and be able to practice some balance. So you could also have the other side where the child is beginning to pull themselves up. If they're crawling, they're pulling up. This is a great thing. It's very sturdy. And this was probably like three bucks. Okay, a great toy to be used in the bathroom for washing hands, but also just set it out in the in your um, home on the carpet where it's not going to slide and let a child just play on it. You'll see lots of fun with that. <clears throat> when my granddaughter was small, she used to love to play uh, climbing on and off of my husband's guitar case. And we would just leave it in the floor lot, you know, with the guitar in it. And it was, uh, she couldn't get to the guitar, it was latched. She would climb on and off and on and off over and over for a long period of time. So there are a lot of things around your house that you can use for that. Also on my visit, I bought some really good little rattles. I mean, these are just simple things. And the, really the, the most effective and easy uh, rattle for a baby to use is something that's not so heavy. Typically you see all these wonderful rattles, little rattle. This type of rattle is excellent because the end, the small for a little baby, because you can see a little hand can go around this part and then it has the kind of ball part on the other end, like a dumbbell. Uh, they also make them look like little telephones, but this is a great rattle for a baby. This one is also great. It has some movement, but it also has a small way for the baby to hold on to it. I also found this really cool little piano. I think it was like $3. You'd pay a lot more than that if you went to Walmart or anywhere else to buy it. A great thing to use for sitting or just sitting in your lap or even tummy time if you wanted. I also love, love, love books. And I bought a bunch of books. Board books can be kind of expensive, but if you go to the thrift store, these, these, these were 50 cents a piece. This is one about shapes, um, the rectangle and the triangle and all these different things with animals. That was 50 cents. This was 50 cents. You are my, I love you. A sweet little story to be read to your child. And then some farm animals. Um, and then just uh, more about animals. Just lots of simple pictures. Children love books. And children really love books if you, especially if you do not give them your phone or you do not give them an iPad. Infants do not need any contact with phones or iPads. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends zero screen time for a baby up in, uh, under a year old, zero. So we all like to use those because they're close at hand, but I would encourage you just to, to put some books in the baby's diaper bag. And when you're out at the doctor or somewhere else, or you're waiting, give the baby books to look at because that's gonna really help the baby in terms of their skills and their brain development. So this cool little thing was $2, this little turtle with a mirror. Babies love mirrors. Babies love to look at themselves and they love, you can see all the shiny lights there. So you can see that pretty neat toy too. So we've got some more board books. These are all Dory board books and this whole thing for five, six books was a dollar. So you can find tons of that. Here's another good rattle, a little bit heavier, but one that, that changes shape, makes nice sounds, has something that spins inside it, and this was a dollar. Here we go, a little flashlight. Didn't have any, I'll have to put the batteries in it. 
nope, I don't have to put the batteries in it. You can see this has light, sound, and this was $3. So I'm gonna show you some more rattles. One of the most um, amazing little things for children are just the cheap little keys. This is probably 10 cents. It wasn't much at all. Makes nice sound. Also very light. So I think every baby should have some keys. And these simple ones are really better than the big ones that have all the noise and all that because they're heavier and harder for a baby to manipulate. What you wanna see is the baby can hold it and shake it. Then here's one that has a little fish, has uh, things to play with. This one was $2. You wouldn't be able to get one like this at a store for $2. So go to your thrift stores and check things out. So many great things. Then this entire thing was $3. All these little beginning musical and sort of like musical instruments. You can see the different things to play with bells and the great handle. You can see that great handle for them. This one has some beads in it. Makes a good sound. And this one is truly bells and babies love bells. You can see again, this whole thing, all four of these rattles at the thrift store, $3. So, and then last in this was um, these pop beads. You know, we don't see kids play with things like this like they used to. It's really important that babies have manipulatives, that they hold with, if they practice sitting up and that they play and hold things. So with this, you would see that a baby would pull it apart and that works on grip strength and arm strength to pull it apart. And then eye hand coordination as they learn how to put it back together. So these simple, simple toys are much, much better for your baby than anything electronic. Babies need simple manipulative, simple things to play with. They need your time and they do not need screen time. It doesn't matter if they like it. They don't need it. We are the adults and we need to do what's best for our kids, not what is convenient. So I encourage you, if, if, you're, if you like to go thrifting or go to the thrift store, just go. You'll find some really good stuff. Um, I found uh, um, several things when I went last time and I want to show you. My, I have my friend Jo. She always is on the lookout for me all the time for blankets. She makes blankets and she also finds them at thrift stores. This great blanket... I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Try to hold it up. Thrift store blanket, $3. Washed, ready to go. What babies need, this is a nice one because it's kind of, you know, quilted. You can also, to make it a little softer for your baby, if you're worried that it's gonna be on a, let's say on a hardwood floor or tile floor, just get a bath mat. Put a bath mat underneath it so that it won't scoot. It'll be extra padded and put your baby down. Babies need to be in the floor. Uh, they need to be on carpet. They need to be on a firm surface so they can learn to move. Babies do not learn to move when they're in containers. They do not learn to move when they're sitting in a mama roo or they're um, in a swing or they're in a vibrating seat. All those have their place in moderation when you need your baby to, to kind of calm down for a few minutes and I'm not saying never use them, but what babies need most of all is to be free to move in a safe environment where they can learn to use their muscles and hold their heads and roll, all those type things and sit up because babies have to use their muscles to be able to be strong. And there's no magic wand you can wave. There's nothing that, you, you know, nothing magic that can happen for a baby to get strong. They have to use their muscles. And that comes from being given the opportunity to do so. So anyway, check out your local thrift store and you can find lots of great things that won't cost so much and you'll, you'll be glad that you did. Thanks.